Hey guys, on today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to export all photos from your Photos app on Mac. So that's this app right here, so we just have that open right now. If you go to Photos, which is your first option here, you're going to get all your photos. Just to make sure you are viewing every single photo in your photo library, just make sure you see this right here on the right hand side. Now let's say you guys only want to export your videos, you guys can select your videos or just pictures. In this case, I already exported all my videos, so I'm good to go. I can just put in all photos and I'm gonna export everything from here. After that, I'm actually gonna sync it up to my Google, but that's for another video. All right, so first of all, let's not worry about this. We're gonna select every single photo from here. So the easy way to do that is just by pressing Command A. Okay, on your keyboard, just press Command and then A. Or you can go to edit right here on the top left hand side and then you guys can select this option here where it says command A. <laughs> See, select all means command A. So do it either way. Once you guys do that, just go into file, export, unmodified. So this is actually really important. If you guys want to keep your full size with your date and everything intact, this is the way to do it. I know a lot of people had been having problems when you export them in a different way, and then maybe the date of the actual picture changes. If you guys don't want that, you guys wanna keep that data, and for sure you want to keep that whenever you guys took that picture so you guys can go back to it and see what year it was taken, all that stuff. Just export unmodified. So I'm gonna export more, yeah, almost 8,000 pictures right now, 7,000. So let's click right there. We're gonna see the next option where it's gonna show us where do you guys want to export this to? So again, we want to use the same file name. Um, you guys could choose others, okay, sequential and so on. However, I'm gonna choose use file name because I wanna keep everything the same, exactly the same. I'm gonna choose none, okay? I would actually recommend that. Then I'm gonna go to export. And then, wherever you guys want to place your folder. So in my case, I want to make a new folder. So I'm going to click right here and I'm going to name this one all 2018. Okay. So that's in my desktop. Okay. Once you guys make stuff in your desktop, I suggest not keeping it there, but putting in folders, maybe putting in, in your um, documents or somewhere. Okay. So I'm just going to create that. So right here, as you can see, I just created that folder, so it's empty right here on the right-hand side, bottom. You guys will see it says Export Originals, so just click right there. And how do you guys see if actually there's something happening? Well, up here on the top left-hand corner, you guys will see the circle. This circle, if you guys click on it, it will tell you the process. Right now, it's already exporting 199, 200, yeah, it's going pretty fast. Photos app has been getting better from iPhoto, as you guys know, it used to take forever to export videos, pictures, anything really from it used to take forever. Right now, it's really fast. So Apple did actually a good upgrade here. And right now it works really fast. Right now, I'm already at 500 pic pictures. Obviously, if it's videos, it's going to take longer. The longer the videos, the longer it'll take. Um, same goes with resolution wise. If you guys have videos at 4K, that'll take much longer than a 1080 video, for example, to export at full size, like I just showed you right now. Anyways, that's it for this video. It's gonna take a while for me to export these 7,000. I would think it would only take, mm, I would give it maximum 30 minutes. Usually, it really does depends on your Photos app plus your Mac speed. So if you guys have your Mac, like storage wise, almost full, then your Mac only gets slower. So I suggest, you know, keeping your Mac with at least one terabyte free storage. And yeah, I get it. If you, you guys only have like a 500 gig hard drive on your Mac, then you should keep at least 100 gigs free. So your Mac is able to work properly. All right. Anyways. That's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.